Another patient I want to show you is Otto. Otto is 84 years old. He has persistent chest pain for some hours, he says. He's hypotensive. And in this loop, you see that here is the radial artery. This is placing an arterial axis. Why is Otto feeling bad? Well, of course, we perform a point of care ultrasound. And in this echocardiographic exam, we do see that here in this subcoastal images, we have an interatrial septum, which is bulging from the right side towards the left side. So it's a little bit moving, but already in this first view, we can appreciate that the problem has to be more in the right chambers. And when we move on and scan more of the right heart and also of the left heart, we do see that the right ventricle is severely dilated. We do see that the apical parts are still contracting, whereas the Mid-wall, as we can appreciate it here, it's definitely akinetic. Overall, he was very hard to scan, as you can see in those images. And with several views, you will have an overview that here again is the apical part of the right ventricle. And here also parts of the lateral wall. And definitely, even in this atypical view, we can see that right ventricular function is severely impaired. We have wall motion abnormalities of the right ventricle. We have a right ventricular dilatation and a reduction in right ventricular function and also information with this interatrial septal bulging from the right to the left that right ventricular pressures or volume are mainly the problem in this case. What is the problem here? Well, this was a case of an isolated right ventricular infarction. So, the parts we can see of the right ventricle, they are akinetic, the right ventricle is dilated, the left ventricle doesn't seem to have a problem, but truly the right ventricle is the chamber we have to think about. So in this case, due to the lack of contraction of the right ventricle, of course we had the mainly volume problem, which has to be resolved with volume treatment and of course with angiography.